Oh man, and look at that face. He is angry. Hi guys, it's Misty and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a haul video. It is the haul from the shop with me that was up yesterday where I went to a indoor flea market called Trader Baker's in Seymour, Indiana. And well, today I'm going to show you what I got. And I got some pretty amazing things that I'm pretty excited about. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I got was this trash can. It's a lithograph trash can. It's kind of a creamy off-white color with this red gingham. I mean, look at the inside of it. It's red gingham on the inside. And it was $7. And it has a maker. I'm not quite sure. No, it just has this H on the bottom. So I did get this. I know that I'll be able to sell it. It's pretty lightweight. It'll be, you know, have to ship in a little bit bigger of a box, but it's lightweight. And so I got that. That just kind of, I'm always drawn to lithograph things. And lithograph are like metalware, sort of like this one that I'm going to show you next. These were two metal trays. They've got sort of this little buffalo check down here with the maybe poppy no i don't know what kind of thistle flowers i'm not sure but there's a little bumblebee there are two of them there's no maker's mark on them at all but these just are great they add a little bit of a pop of pop of color to a display two dollars and fifty cents each the graphics are still very very nice on them so i love i just like the metalware it's just something that i've always really kind of gravitated to I also picked up some thermoses. Now, two of the thermoses are just your everyday average thermos, but then there is this thermos. Now, you may say, Misty, that's ridiculous. That's a picnic thermos. But here in just a second, let me, let me go and show you what you can do with this thermos. Okay, so let me show you what I like to do with these thermoses. So, you know, it's just your little picnic jug. It's a picnic jug. What did I pay for you? I paid three dollars and fifty cents which was quite an amazing price let me let me just tell you for these but you take off the lid and they usually have this little like a little cup that maybe you could drink out of or i don't know what you would use it or maybe you would drink out of it um so here we go on the inside and then you just take some flowers voila isn't that cool so you can add this to your home display, put it on top of your refrigerator, along with your other thermoses. It's a fun thing. In the springtime, you can add faux tulips. I've done that a lot with these. I typically find the red ones, but I don't often find, well, I don't think I've ever found the blue one, but I did, I did, I did today. And I, I don't know if I'm going to sell this or not, guys, but just, just gives you an idea of what you can do and you could repurpose these old picnic jugs again. So that was a great deal for $3.50. And now I'll just go ahead and show you the thermoses. Uh, I got, this is a blue thermos. Uh, who are you made by? Thermos Division, Stanley. And it has this handy little handle on there. I've never seen one with a little handle. That's just handy. You can just carry that, carry your coffee with your little handle. And let's see what the inside looks like. Sometimes it's a little scary. I will have to admit, sometimes it is scary to open up these thermoses because you know you never know what you're gonna see or smell on the inside. This one still does have its glass liner. I mean, if you wanted to use it, I mean, maybe people do. Maybe people want to still use these thermoses and that's fine. But I mean, for me, I like it for just a decorative standpoint. So I got this blue one and it was $4.50. I like that they left their tags on, so it's easier for me to remember how much I paid for each thing when I'm doing these haul videos. And then I got the ever classic, the sought after for Christmas time plaid thermos, and it was also $4.50. It's still intact. Sometimes the glass, if these get dropped, the glass can, can and has, trust me, shattered on the inside, but again, you know, I, I like to just use them as a decorative piece. So there we go with that one. I have a little bit of a collection for these red ones, so I might hold on to that one for a little bit. I picked up four of these mugs. They are four pedestal mugs with these birds on them. They are made by a company, well, they were Fred Roberts is who designed these. And a lot of times they don't, people don't know that these are of value 
and they are. There are people that want the collection of these. I did just sell a set of six of them on eBay. I want to say for $35 or $30 or something like that. Um, I do have four of them. It's missing, I well, the, each of them have a different color base. And I think we're missing the blue and the red. So I do have these. And, you know, I might be able to find a, a single of blue and the red. Or maybe I'll just sell these four as a set in and itself. But these were amazing. They were 50 cents a piece. So I got those. Uh, uh, yeah, of course I'm going to get them for 50 cents a piece. I also got these guys and these were in the beginning of that video, the shop with me. These were the first things that I found there and they are these frosted glass eras. Like this one's the Arizona Oregon pipe cactus. This one is the Arizona barrel cactus. And these were given away. Like when you'd fill up your gas, you would get one of these at a gas station. I don't remember which gas station it was, if it was a specific gas station that would hand these out. But um, these, you know, a lot of people do collect these. They're kind of a nostalgic thing too. Uh, my dad actually remembers getting these when they would go and fill up gas. Now they, li they lived in Arizona. So I don't know if this was a regional thing, but they did it kind of more out West than they did here in the Midwest. But um, for 50 cents a piece, I picked these up. They're cactuses. They're great. All right, I also got the Marilyn Monroe playing cards for $1.99. Let's see, I'm going to open up. I don't know if they're all here, but I thought, if anything, I would use them as package toppers. Those are fun. So on this, on the back side, it's just your, the iconic Marilyn Monroe. And then on the other side, there's just various Marilyn. Oh, pinups. So I thought that they would be fun to add as a little as a little package topper. Now I will look these up because if they're worth anything, then I'm, you know, if they're worth, you know, $20 or something, then I'm going to probably sell them on eBay and not give them away as package toppers. I'm just saying. All right. What else did I, what else do I want to show you next? Well, I got this peacock. It is a female peacock. I do believe. I'm not sure who made this. I have sold these before. They have the the female and the male. Um, they they did come in a set, but this is just her by herself. She was three dollars and ninety nine cents, and she the camera was just turned off, and that was a mystery. So the last thing I showed you was this lovely bird. So I hope that I got I showed you everything that I needed to show you about the bird because my camera died. Okay. Next, I got this little sugar bowl, and it says it's from the Red Horse Inn. Now, I don't know where this is from or where this place is, if it's even still in existence, if it was a place, I don't know. I've literally just laid this stuff down on the table and I haven't really done any research on it, but I thought this was really cute. You can see here, it says Red Horse Inn. It's a little jam jar or sugar jar. It has the little bird on the top there, and it was, $2. That's how much I paid for this little guy. It's in great condition. It has a little under tray. It's also marked the Red Horse Inn on the bottom. So I, I'm, I'm going to figure out where this came from exactly. So I, I got that. And then I got this cute little cow creamer. Little made in occupied Japan cow creamer. I love, I just love these big girl things. Oh, this isn't a creamer. Where, this is a planter, not a creamer because you, you, it's a planter. It's a planter. It's a planter from Occupy Japan, and it is a little cow, and it's so cute, and it is in excellent condition. So there he is, his little eyes just looking up at the heavens. He is made in Occupy Japan for $3.89. I don't know where that price range came from. That's a little odd, but I pay it. I pay $3.89 for you. All right. I got a little enamelware pot. Cute, right? Look at the pink and the blue together. Isn't that lovely? I, I don't, you don't normally see these fun colors in this. And when I do, I do try to buy them because I love enamel wear, but I especially love enamel wear when I can get it in a fun color. And this is a nice pink and blue, and it was $3. So I really like that. I got some flower frogs, some glass flower frogs. Uh, they were a dollar each. 
So there's this one. They do not glow. Frog for a dollar. They don't glow, but that's okay. Um, these are just really look really nice and as a collection, sit, you know, sitting in someone's um, in a jar or a cool silver plated bowl. They just look nice in a display. I also got a little bluebird of happiness. This one is signed Leo Ward 1996. It's in excellent condition. I paid $5 for this, which is a little much, but I have a hard time not buying these. I just, they're just lovely. I don't know. They, they just make you happy. I don't know if that's the reason why they're called bluebirds of happiness because they make you happy, but they do make me happy. And I got this little guy for $5, which was a little much. I probably shouldn't have paid $5 for him, but I did. And I got him. So he came home with me. Okay. And then this. I'll show you a few Christmas things that I bought. I don't know about this guy yet. He he looks very Holt Howard to me. I haven't looked him up. I'll try to, you know, put up here if I did find out. His cold paint is a little rough, but he's a little... He's a little happy snowman, salt and pepper shaker. The one part is his head and the other part is his body. I paid $3 and 50 cents for this. They, he has his, the cork is in both receptacles. It's not marked anything. So I, I, I don't know, but I thought it was so stinking cute. Okay, so a few more of the Christmas items that I got. I paid $2 a piece for these little shiny, bright Christmas bulb boxes. Now, I would guess, I would guess that these are the original shiny, bright miniature bulbs that went in, in these, but I love the boxes. So the boxes alone, they were $2 each. And ugh, now, the thing that I, that kind of upsets me a little bit, is, you know, they put the sticker over here over the graphics. So let's, let's hope if we're very ginger, we can get this tag off. Like, why wouldn't you put it on the bottom of the box where there wasn't any writing? Okay. We got it off, folks. There we go. So these are in really good condition. So I got two of them and they were, they were $2 each. Yeah, I know. I was a little shocked myself. And I think in the video you saw me putting them in my cart very uh, quickly. Surely they just stuck these out. And it was my lucky day and I was the lucky buyer of them. That same booth also had this little uh, tree topper for a dollar. It's made in Taiwan, so it's not terribly vintage, but I would say it's probably from the 70s or 80s. And then, I got this angel, honeycomb angel novelty decoration. It is from 1986. And it's this beautiful little angel, little honeycomb angel still in the package. And it was 75 cents. So I got that for 75 cents. Of course I did. And then I know that you guys are all going to be jealous of me at the holidays when I have my tidbits on a tree. See? I could have my olives and my cheese and my salami and my spam all on my tree. And you can just pluck it off and eat it at your leisure. This was a dollar. It's an Orr's Divorce tree. I mean, this is fun to me. This is a party. When you can go to someone's house and they have a tree full of food, that's a party. So this is going to get used. I'm going to use that for my next gathering. All right. One thing that's kind of a newer, well, it is new. I did buy, I always, I tend to always buy puzzles. The puzzles are easy to list. They're easy to ship. They're sealed. So you know that they're all there. This puzzle was $3. I don't know that who this, it's Euro graphics. Travel Europe. So I will be listing this on eBay. You can just snap a few pictures and away it goes. And puzzles do particularly well during the, you know, the coronavirus issues. So people, you know, like to put together a puzzle while they're home. So I highly recommend buying puzzles. I also got some shakers. I paid $3, $3 for salty and peppy. 
Now I am, I will be selling these. I have a lot of them, so I can't keep all of them. These are labeled on the bottom. Woodpecker Woodware, Los Angeles, California. They're made in Japan. Woodpecker Woodware. That's the first time I've ever seen one with a label on it. Oh man, and look at that face. He is angry, angry, but he's peppy. And she's just, uh, she's annoyed or she's exhausted and she's sleeping. Salty, salty, salty. Your hat doesn't go on the way that it should. Neither does Peppy. Their, their hats are not matching up with their faces, but that's, that's just adds into the fun of them. So I always pick those up, but the paint job on these are still very, very, very good. They're not faded at all. So definitely worth $3 for picking them up. I think I have three more things. I, I got this beautiful tablecloth. Now I did pay up for this. I paid up. Yes, I did. I paid $12 for this tablecloth, which is paying up for me, but I couldn't resist it because it's just, I mean, it's a nice big, probably a six foot tablecloth and it's got cherries and strawberries. Look at those big cherries. $12 for a nice linen tablecloth. It's in excellent condition. It doesn't have any holes. Has a few small little tea stains or coffee stains that can be taken out with some treatment. But I mean, it's pretty cool. And I have a hard time not buying these cool, nice vintage tablecloths when I see them. All right, and two more things. I got the poodle. I got a fuzzy wuzzy poodle, look it. He's so fuzzy and soft. Um, He was $2.89. Oh, there you go, $2.98. And I'm not sure if he has his original. No, no original sticker. Um, not sure who made him, but look, he's, or she. Sorry, there's no, we don't know. If you, we don't know if you're a boy or a girl. Very, very fancy and fluffy. So, of course, I picked him up. And then now this last thing I'm going to show you was my big gamble. I mean, it was a gamble because it's broken. Now, I, you know me. You know, I will buy things that still have purpose if they're broken. This, I was just amazed that I even saw one with my own two eyes, quite honestly. I, I, you just don't, I just don't see them of this size. But it's this beautiful... This is a blue girl, a blue, oh, I can't remember what all they call her, but she's a Joseph's original. She's this nice, almost like a 12 inch size, fancy pantsy Joseph's original made in Japan. Uh, it was $5.99. Now here's the issue with her. The only issue with her, because I was like looking at all the petals on her dress of the flowers. I was looking at her hand and then her hair and her fan, looked at her neck, you know, cause that's usually always where the problem lies. And the thing, the only thing that's wrong with her is she's missing a finger. She's missing a finger right there. Now, if she were in pristine intact condition, they sell for well over a hundred dollars. So I just, I just got her for $5.99. I took the gamble that hopefully somebody will still want her, even though she's got a broken finger. You know, I don't know. I, I have, a, I, I just, I, I was happy to see her because I've never seen one of this size with my own two eyes. So I was happy just to kind of get her and hopefully save her and she'll make her way to somebody that will be able to look at her and appreciate her for themselves. And that's my haul. That's what I got. I will definitely be going back to this shop. It was an adventure. It is a, it's a lot bigger store than what I thought that it was. So I will definitely be going back probably in a couple months or so. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you please give it a thumbs up. Interacting on my videos, leaving a comment, giving a thumbs up, sharing my videos. It really does, does make a huge difference in my with my channel. Hitting the notification bell, you know, do all that kind of thing. That really does help me out a lot. And I so, so much appreciate it and you. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.